and that's the TN12 Pro. Words do not describe. Like I said, this is the farthest throwing full one inch tube flashlight I have ever seen. All right, I got a flashlight in front of me that is, I would have to say is probably my new favorite flashlight. I've said this before, but the flashlights just keep getting better and better. I've done a tremendous amount of reviews on flashlight, way more than I can even think of. And the ones that stand out, I've kept. The other ones I've given away or sold, mostly given away. But this here is the Through Night TN12 Pro. And this is a wicked little flashlight. When I mean little, I want to do some comparison of it with other flashlights. But this is the old TN12 flashlight that I've had for years and years and I beat the heck out of. This one actually probably got me started on with YouTube with reviews. And it still works good, believe it or not. And this is think the predecessor to the 2014 but the size difference on them in this one is not a lot they're the one inch tube but the old TN12 is bulkier taller and if you look here in the back tail clickies everything's the same but there is a massive difference on these flashlights LEDs are pretty close to the same size uh, deeper reflector on the old TN12 than the new Pro but we're going to go through the pluses on that TN12 Pro. And there isn't really any minuses on this thing. Or negatives. But I'm going to compare that Pro to the old TN12. And then a Maglite ML300, which is a very bright LED version of a Maglite running 3D cells. Let's get these two out of here. So we can talk about this real quick and then I want to show you what this thing is made of. But this is coming at you with a SS, SFT40 emitter. Now, I didn't really know what that emitter was. You know, you got a HXP35s and all that that would create a tight beam. But this is one wicked nice tight beam and it also gives you some spill. But it's... it's surprised me unreal uh, so much so 380 meters of throw on the turbo mode that is just ridiculous out of something you can slide in your pocket I suppose I should cover what it comes with you get a through night case decent case uh, USB-C charging right to the flashlight and a belt clip and a land in your directions and it comes with uh, through nights flashlight the battery which is uh let me go get it because right now i got it on a charger so 3400 milliamp 18650 it's a high discharge performance lithium ion and this battery does produce it's 12.24 watt hours the reason why i had it on a charger is i was doing a discharge test and it's running well over 3000 milliamps of juice into this thing uh, features on the flashlight real quick you got two clickies a rear clicky and a front clicky. The front one, you can cycle through. You just turn it on, hold it, go through low, medium, and high. And you'll see outside, the high beam itself is incredibly long throw on it. Very bright. And you'll run for two and a half hours on that. And medium is nine hours, 220 lumens. Low, 46 hours of runtime, and this is more than enough you'll see when we get outside to shine through your yard and that. But it's 50 lumens. Firefly, you're going to hold it 37 days of runtime on Firefly. And at nighttime, up in a bedroom or say down in a basement where it's fairly dark, this Firefly mode works quite well. It's a half a lumen. Yeah, some people say it should be a little bit brighter, but I like that Firefly. And to get the turbo, there's a couple ways to do it. You can double click it and run the rear clicky. Rear clicky is just for turbo. Uh, turn it on. If you're in any mode, you can double click and go for turbo. And when you're on, you see that blue signature LED inside the switch showing you the battery percentage. And one thing I'm going to tell you right now, it runs seven minutes on turbo mode. Let me go ahead and put that battery in it. What I want to do before we go outside is do a heat test on it. 
it runs seven minutes on turbo and then drops down to like I think 440 lumens or more but what I'm gonna do is get my temp gun set up and we're gonna show you just how hot this thing gets okay I'm at 81 degrees battery's pretty charged and right off the bat we're talking I'll probably just read it off you might be able to see that 80 we get right up there towards the switch it's already up to around that switch 87 there's already 91 degrees 92 we're just gonna let it sit there for a minute it said it goes for seven minutes on turbo and I've had it on a couple minutes and the end of that thing is really really getting hot I'm at 95 probably only had it on for 30 seconds maybe already at 105 the highest I've ever seen any flashlight get up to around there is about 113 Seems to be right around the switch, hitting 108. Pretty sure it might have dropped down, because I've had it on for a while. Oh, 127, 27, 28. Just in front of that switch is where it gets its hottest. 129, am I going to hit 130? 131. I hit one 131. Up to the top, 131. I'm going to turn this thing sideways, see if you can... If I can get to it, there you saw it, 132, yeah, it gets warm right out on the end. Figured it did, when I was out there shining that thing. One thing I want to do is we're going to shut it off. Yeah, it's it's quite warm. Can you hold it with your hand? You're not going to hold that thing with the tip of it on your hand. Okay, I got a tree that's 62 meters away, and this is the Maglite ML300. Uh, it's a 3D cell, and it lights that tree up pretty good. And we're going to compare this TN12 Pro to this and the old TN12 that I showed you in the initial part of the video. This is the ML300, and that is the old TN12. One of my first flashlights. Uh, it outdoes the ML300, as you can see. Maybe not for throw, but overall. TN12, and that's the TN12 Pro. Words do not describe. Like I said, this is the farthest throwing full one inch tube flashlight I have ever seen. Uh, just that in itself is enough to want to buy this thing. And that's on the highest mode, the turbo, at 62 meters. So what we're going to end up doing is going farther down that tree that's dead that I've used for years at 90 I think it's 94 meters away uh, the ML 300s lighting it up pretty good there's a tree line in the back upwards up to hundred and forty meters and trying to give you a good indication um, very bright light and that is the old TN 12 pretty nice and that is the TN12 Pro like I said it's just unreal so now we're gonna punch out farther I'll switch back to the ML300 pushing it about 230 all the way up to probably 300 meters back and ML Pro is hitting it let's go put that star right in the middle and the TN12 I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but I can see that wood line with a TN12, just barely. And TN12 Pro. It gives you an idea. Just what you're getting out of this flashlight. Now, run time on the highest mode, you'd say, you know, I've only got so long to run. So we're going to switch down to the lower modes. That's high mode quite a long run time and it's still blowing them other flashlights away you can see that hillside quite easily <clears throat> I'm very impressed with this thing uh, this will be one that I'll be carrying on me all the time Let's switch over here to this tree line back there actually let's get closer and we're gonna go through the modes just to show you that focus on this thing that is the lowest mode other than Firefly 
and it's bouncing off that tree at 62 meters away and say medium uh, you're not going to go wrong with this thing and then the high mode just high, high is just incredible in itself and then you go into your turbo <laughs> you don't want to look at this flashlight close range um, tell you what let's uh, back up and shine at my house just maybe give you a different depth of view of it we're gonna focus on a tree down there this is the Maglite ML 300 that popple is probably 80 meters back and got some lights on there but lights up the yard pretty good very bright flashlight and that's the old TN12 there lighting it up quite well and that's a TN12 Pro this thing is phenomenal I mean, you can shine deer anything with this thing and we're gonna go a little bit farther on the lower modes that tree there is probably about 130 meters back and in the lowest mode it's almost hitting that tree look at that medium mode you can tell if there's wildlife out there just on medium focus on this is just beautiful tiny bit of spill in a decent amount of focus just perfect and then high no problem I'll walk down there and shine it back walk a little ways down Oh, it's a pretty awesome flashlight. There's a tree line well over 300 meters right there, and it's hitting that. You can see that there. Turn my decibel up on my, my camera to boost, 10 decibel boost. So I'm going to turn my ISO way up on this camera. This is a Sony A7S, and I got the dark night lens on it. Watch this. That's 102,000 ISO. Hard to even attempt to shine that flashlight this this much ISO. <laughs> Turn it down a little. About right there is what the human eye can see. And this light is bright, ain't it? Pretty cool. So there you are for the light shining on it. Check that link out down below for this light. I'm telling you, you're going to be very impressed with it. This is, uh, as far as I have seen, the farthest throwing one inch tube diameter, I mean even with the one inch head flashlight that I even know of. Uh, that emitter that's in there is probably what's doing it and this thing is driven hard i haven't measured anything but just telling you you will be very impressed with this light uh it takes the place of a thrower and a pocket light i'll probably have this one forever just like the old tn12 go ahead check that link out down below for this flashlight you'll be very impressed there you go till next time